Hi guys, it's Cindy A. Lewis. Welcome to my channel. This is part two of the Christmas planner series. We have three parts. The first part was creating the binder. I encourage you to go and look at that part. It will be linked below. Part two today is we're creating the dividers that are going to go in the binder for the theme that I've chosen is vintage. And then part three will be the filler pages and flipping through the binder, finalizing it. So um, today our series is going to be on the dividers. I'm going to show you how I created mine and some tips on creating yours. And we're going to decorate those a little bit. And then, um, then we're going to have part three available to you as soon as it's recorded. First, I'd like to say thank you for joining me on my channel. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel so that I can connect with you and that you can uh, be aware when my next video will come up, you'll get a notification. If you click on the bell, you'll get um, a notification right away. So anyway, let's get into it. Okay. So I'm using a binder from the Dollar Tree. This was a pink binder that I covered and it is seven inches and a half by nine inches. So you need to know the size of your binder. You can make it any size you choose before you create your dividers. For this half page binder, my half page fillers are going to be half of an eight and a half by 11. So it's gonna be five and a half by eight and a half. So I wanna make sure that my dividers are just a little bit bigger than my um, filler pages. So I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna show you the dividers that I created and I'm gonna explain how I created them. And then I'm going to show you how to create one and give you some tips on creating your own if you don't have some of the tools that I do have. So I went through and pulled some papers from some Christmas papers that I had. As I said, I'm going with sort of a vintage theme. So I wanted to age my papers. So the papers didn't start out like this. I used my homemade blending tool and some cocoa dye ink. And that dye ink was from Tuesday morning, but you can buy um, dye ink anywhere. And I would use the cocoa. So what I did was I cut my pages for my divider. Now I'm using cardstock, not scrapbook paper. This is cardstock. So you do want your pages to be thicker. If you want something on both sides of your pages, then you wanna look for cardstock that's printed on both sides. If you don't mind that and you want to cover it with a pocket or something else, then you can also do that. If you choose, you have the option, and if you have a laminator, you could also laminate your dividers. It's up to you. It's completely up to you. But I am going to show you how I made these, but I also wanna tell you, if you have any dividers, like these are for a happy planner, you could use these as a template, or maybe not a happy planner, but a planner. And you could use these as a template and just trace and cut out your dividers. So it's completely up to you how you want to do that. I just wanted to show that as an option. Okay, so I cut my dividers 7 inches by 8 and a half inches. So I'm going to show you, I just took a sheet of scrapbook paper that I liked. And I took my trimmer and I cut it 7 by eight and a half. So this page, I need to find out where my divider is gonna go to line up with this one. Now what I can do is I already cut out the second one over here and I can line it up like this and just cut it out if I want to. I could just cut that right out. I'm gonna show you a little tool that I had on hand. It is the We Are Memory Keepers Tab Punch Board. It is amazing. I did get this at Tuesday morning. It's regular price $24.99, and I got it for $11.99, so that's a great savings. You can buy it many places. I bought mine there because I wanted to save quite a lot of money. It has instructions in here how to make your tabs. And it's really simple, actually. Um, this 
I'm not gonna do a demo on actually how to make all the tabs, but I am going to show you that I'm gonna make one here. So this one will line up about um, in this space right here. And I'm gonna make a medium tab. It lets you make small, medium, and large. And I'm just gonna make sure that I'm lining it up right. And that's where I want it, I believe. So I'm going to, so I think it was six and a half. So I'm going to line it up right here and I'm just, I punch it and then I turn it over and I'm making medium tabs. You can see this is small, medium, large. I don't know if you can really see that, but um, small, medium, large. And so I line it up with that medium line right there and then I punch it again and if it's not exactly right I'm not all that worried about it this is for me I'm not selling it I'm not you know like it's not got to be absolutely perfect I just want it you know close so now I just need to get rid of these extra um, sides that are for, on the other side of my my uh, divider so I take my paper on this punch board and you can see there's a line here that will help me cut it perfectly. So I just lay it against there and this, this guide will help my trimmer. This is a little trimmer. You put the little circle into the, the guide here and then this cutter cuts it. So you just put it on here and it just cuts it really easily. So then you move your paper over it's super, it's super cool, actually. And this is how I decided I wanted to make my tabs instead of copying them and drawing them out and then, um, you know, just cutting them out. This is what I decided to do. You do not have to do this. And you don't have to go and buy a, punch, a tab punch board either. I just had it. I wanted to use it. All right, so now I've made my divider with this uh, We Are Memory Keepers a tab punch board, which is actually very cool. The next step is I'm going to age my paper. So remember, I do that with my blending tool and my dye ink pad. Okay, so I've uh, aged my divider here really nicely on both sides. I went ahead and did both sides. The next thing I need to do is punch some holes. So I just used the one that I cut first as my um, guide to do that. If you have a three hole punch for the size of the notebook that you're using or binder, then you can certainly um, use that. I do not have one for this size. So now I have all my dividers done. Okay, so finished up my dividers. I'm gonna show you real quick, but we'll go into the details in part three. So here is my Santa, put a little belly band here. The next one, just put a pocket really quick, just decorations. This is a very special pocket. This is from my dad's shirt so that I can always remember my dad. And so I put some pictures. He loved Christmas, and so this is really special to me. So I put some pictures of my dad, and I'm just keeping that as part of my Christmas planner, and I love that. Um, just decorated a few things, another pocket. Um, just made some cute decorations on these pages real quickly, just running through. Um, another pocket here. This will attach when I put it inside the notebook. And that is my last divider. The only thing I have left to do is put the uh, tabs on for what each pocket is going to have behind it in my pages. And we'll go over that in part three. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you to create your Christmas planner. I appreciate you watching and look for part three.